we get this uh, pride, conceit, because, see, we can, you know, I can sit down and paint a picture or whatever, write a story. I'd say this is true of writers, too, uh, preachers. Uh, an analyst might call it a God complex, but that's, that's a little different. But I do have a God complex. It's, they're not important. God complexes. A lot of people have them, and it doesn't screw up lives. On the other hand, the society as a whole would be a lot healthier if people didn't have God complexes. Uh, so we do it. We entertain for power. And the way we get it makes us proud. And some people go too far and become, as Terry calls it, full of themselves and think that they're really great, you see. Now, those people identify their entertainment with their essential being. That is to say, uh, I'm this great rock star. That's the real me, okay? I have never thought that. Uh, and that's why I've never become overly proud. Uh, on the few occasions when I've been tempted to, I caught myself. And it's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because, see, I'm not an existentialist. An existentialist believes that what he does is his real self. No, I'm a Freudian, and I'll say there's a, a human personality in me, and that's my essence. And that's the real me, and that... Uh, there's a relationship between what I do and my personality, but they are not identical at all. Um, and so I cannot, I know too much about myself. I cannot become uh, full of myself, or at least not for very long. <laughs> but as I was saying, um, the uh, entertainment profession has this bipolar thing. You come home and and you're depressed when the gigs are all over. So uh, I don't know how to solve that situation. And this is something I've been trying to work out for years. But I can't. The only way uh, I can see is to go on the road more. At this point, that's my solution. And possibly women, but...